Like, look, look at that. Like, look, two weeks apart, couple days apart. Like, really, you've been, you've been a busy woman. Chat, look at what's go. The last time I watched the Lauren video was when she was in her private chambers, having a little too much fun with that man meeting his child. Why is she making that face? Good job, daddy. Good job, daddy. Is that the judge? Hello, Your Honor. Hello. Look at your... Is he younger here? This is a case of Prowl versus Morton. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Now, you're asking the court to award you $475 in back child care expenses. Yes, Your Honor. Should one of three men be identified as... Hello, freaky ass. We not gonna just subtly walk past one of three men could be the father. That's why we're here today. One of three men. She don't even know which one it is. Cause she just doing whatever it is that she doing. Three potential fathers. Yes, Your Honor. Including the defendant, Mr. Morton. Yes, Your Honor. He the only one that showed up or all three is here. What upsets you most about this situation? Well, in this situation, I was under the impression that was, you know, me and her pretty much against the world, you know? I've come to find out that she's slept around with one guy, then another guy. I, I'm just I'm perplexed about the situation. I don't know I'm perplexed. the father is of this child. This, this man, he do not talk like this. I'm, I'm absolutely perplexed. <laughs> this boy, he lying. How you met and how did you all get in a relationship? Uh, we worked at a sandwich shop together. Um, she was there about maybe a month or two before I before I started working there. So when oh. I got in, you know, <clears throat> she invited me to kind of go ice skating. Oh, she's now, friendly. Um, needless to say, come to the day that we were supposed to go ice skating, we didn't make it to the ice rink. I pretty much she pretty much came back straight to my place. You know, I don't I don't need to go any further from there. All right. So started a relationship with Mr. Morton. Yes. And it was going pretty well? Yes, we, the relationship was going wonderful in the beginning. Now, a couple of months in, I'm finding out there's an, another woman. What evidence huh? do you have of that? On his Twitter account. He's talking to a young lady, saying these things that I can't say on, in Sexual court. Sexual things. Yes. Mm. And he's supposed to be with me. That's not true at all, okay? Excuse me. We're going back and forth about it. I go through his phone. You're not supposed to go through my phone. That's not something you do. Because that's, that's my not, phone. If that's what do you not mean? something I do, uh, what right do I when have? When do I go through your phone? When have I gone through your phone? It doesn't matter. I, I didn't start cheating on you until after. You cheated on me first. How did you find out she was cheating, Mr. Morton? One incident in particular, actually, I worked at a sandwich shop. And we yeah. went along on bread that day. There is another um, what? You know, location near where I worked at where I was sent to get more bread. All right. So what? I went to the sandwich shop. The guy, I think his name is Mr. Gaddis. He was going to hand me the this Mr. Gaddis. bag of bread. Before he did so, he asked me, was I involved with Miss Prop? Now, I told him, yes. You know, we, were, had, we had a little thing going on at the time. It wasn't very, very serious. Well, he was like, well, um, I hope you don't. But you're listening you don't, to other people, though. You're listening to other people. I hope you don't people. get too serious with her. He doesn't, because you're, I have he doesn't already even know this person. Her. He doesn't. Then someone else just comes up to him, and I'm not going to lie, it is true. But <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, lady? <laughs> she just go sit up here and try to say you shouldn't just be listening to random people. It is true, but you shouldn't just be listening. <laughs> Why else would he have said it? You don't just randomly walk up to some guy. Hey, that girl you with? Yeah, I was with him. You're not randomly doing that. He's not crazy. Obviously, had to come from somewhere. What if he would have said some other things? What if he would have said some other things? Oh. So what right. he said was true. So you're proving my point right. I, I should have listened Were to him. Were you cheating with Mr. Gaddis or not? Yes, I was. Oh. <laughs> Why can't he listen to him then? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Man. Mr. Gaddis was not able to uh, appear today, but he did offer a video statement. Oh. Sex was great, obviously. <laughs> he said I'm not gonna be here, but I'm gonna make a video. And the first thing he say 
on the video and talking about doing the nasty. What did they ask him? What did the person on the camera even ask? We ended up hooking up again after that. And um, seeing her walking around at the, at the job, you know, made it even, made the chemistry even better. She looked really good in a little <coughs> outfit. Uh, didn't know she was in a relationship. She lied to me, obviously. Oh, I don't my think God. I'm a father. You know, because we only messed around a few times and I didn't hear from her for months after that. I didn't know she was pregnant until Desmond told me in passing. He's also been tested and we're going to have those results revealed later on as well. But tell me, Ms. Prout, a little bit about your relationship with Mr. Gaddis. Well, Your Honor, there's really no relationship. We, we met at a party. I was drinking hard liquor. We were talking. Oh, Jesus! No, nothing serious. And we went in the back and had sex. In the party? They didn't even go home. They went into the back of the party. She just doing it at the party. She didn't even need to go home. Of course, there is no relationship because I still, I still had feelings for Desmond and I still wanted to try to work it out. When you want to make a relationship work, um, habits in the bathroom at a party is not really the way to do it. And that's what I told her. They got the audience just laughing at this young lady. That's not even fair to her. She came up here to get embarrassed. Like... So this Mr. Gaddis thing was just, like you said, a one-time thing, but it was yes, during Your the Honor. time of conception, and yes, so Your he Honor. could possibly be your child's father. Oh yes, Your my Honor. goodness. So there's also a third person. Yes, Your Honor. Who is that, and how did that come to pass? Mr. Laurie, we also met, and Look I do want to say for the record, I'm very remorseful for what I did because that was totally out of spite. That's what it was. I did it because I found out he was messing around so with someone else. So I said, okay, you know, you didn't put a ring on my finger. You want to go talk to other people? Fine, I can do the same thing. So that's what I did, and I do feel terrible about the decisions I made because two wrongs don't make a right, right? What? It doesn't make a you right You recognize that this is three wrongs, though. Jerome, I think it's time we meet Mr. Laurie, please. I don't want to meet him. He seems sad. <laughs> this boy seemed depressed. So pretty much we were, me and, uh, me and Mr. Laurie, um, we, we were both on trash duty at the job one day, okay? Um, you know, and at one point in time, he seen that me and me and Ms. Prowl had, got, had been involved. So he let me know that at one point in time that they met, you know, they, they slept together um, more than once, actually. Mm. All right, so Mr. Laurie, How you doing, Your Honor? thank you for being here. What do you have to add to this? You were intimate with Ms. Prowl. Yes. If you knew we had sex more than once, mm. why wasn't I hit up for this? Like, why weren't I called? Can I say something, Your Honor? I'm talking now. How we met, we met at a party. Another party, she's girl party animal. We drinking, we go back in the room. At the party, again? Of course what happens, teenagers. Um, after all this goes down, you know, we go back to work. I'm thinking of it like, okay, she works, we work together, we live close by each other. It's cool, you know, casual. So you were sleeping with three co-workers from the sandwich shop. Yes, Your Honor, but I do not want him to be my child's just because you don't want that to be the case, that don't mean it can't be. Why not call him anyway? Just because you don't want that. Father. Well, well you can't control that, can you? <laughs> you can you can you can father. No one is talking to you. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could pick. Let me make something clear. <laughs> if you have a at the back of parties, in the bathroom, unprotected, and everybody in the sandwich shop, you're not going to know who your child's father is. <laughs> well, I feel like the judge throwing shots at her. <laughs> Your Honor, Please, how everybody enlighten is. me. Cannot show you everything, fools. Okay. We don't need to see nothing. I slept with Mr. Morton during our relationship sometime on the 17th, and I slept with him again on the 28th. Well, she okay, was, she was writing it I'm down. On the red. When I slept with Mr. Gaddis at a party, it was around the 19th, Jesus. and then again on the 22nd. Oh my goodness. When I slept with Mr. Laurie, which was a terrible mistake, was the 24th, as well as a party, and then again at the the 26th. Nasty bitch. These dates are a little closer so than I thought. That's a terrible a mistake, huh? And that girl crazy, man. Chess it, just like a presentation. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so a presentation. That's how everybody is. Ew. Where did you, did you get the birth certificate, Mr. Morton? No, he no, did ma'am. not, Your Honor. And why Obvious did you sign reason. it? Because I would have been a fool if I've done it. And you can't blame him now. With not, without knowing that it's really my child. At the time Ethan was born, were you aware? I mean, I know you had conversations with these men, but were you aware of any other potential men she could have slept with? Pretty much she has a reputation. Like, look, look at that. Like, look, two weeks apart, a couple days apart. Like, really, you've been, you've been a busy woman. Look at that. How can I help no, your if honor. I didn't get a call about a child to begin with, though? And why didn't you call him? How because can we help if we don't hear about the kid? The father. I didn't want him what to know. It doesn't even, matter. That's, excuse if that's me, my I didn't kid, even want, you still have to call me to Mr. let Morton me know. know. This is what I, I don't care if I you know. don't want us to be together, because it's not like I even like you like that. But if that's my kid, you still supposed to let me know. Are you good with kids? It doesn't matter. No. Yes, I Are you good with kids? He good with doing something to you, young lady. Talking about are you good with kids? Now you got a young man that's passionate about knowing Your whether honor. he fathered a child. No, no, no. You gonna hear this. Now you sitting up here grilling him, asking him does he know how to change a diaper. None of you all are that far out of diapers. You don't have any business sleeping around, not protecting yourself. Now you question him, is he good with kids and he's this? Now all of a sudden you selective. When I'm looking at a rainbow colored board that indicates that you don't even know how to be selective when it counts. Now I'm gonna say right now, that's a lot of nerve to stand in this courtroom and say this man could potentially be the father of your child, but you conveniently couldn't even call to tell the young man because you didn't want him to be the father. I know how, to, how it feels to grow up without a, a father. Like, that, that, that's not cool, yo. Like, I understand okay, that because my dad wasn't around. Story, and then yeah. I have it's a, Now it's a sob story. The possibility to have a son story and you don't even call, now like... Now we're going with a sob story Yeah, now. whatever, man. Hey, it's real life. Did you really suggest that was a sob story? It is. He's, he's not really like this. He's not genuine. He could care less. Really? How would you know that if you never told him? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. That's the guy on the camera Mr. phone. Mr. Gaddis is not the father. Mr. Gaddis. In the case of Prowl versus Morton, pertaining to whether or not Mr. Morton or Mr. Lowry is the biological father of six week old Ethan Morton. It has been determined by this court, the father is Mr. Morton. Who that? Which one is that? Who Morton? Him? Tears of joy or just relief? I do feel remorseful. And can I say a couple of things to these gentlemen? Yes. I do apologize for, I'm guessing you did want to know. I do apologize. I do apologize to you for cheating on you. If you want to be here with me and the baby. Oh, she get her goofy ass. You want to be here with me? She trying to weasel her ass into a relationship now. It's a little late for that young lady. If you want to be here with me and the baby. No, just the baby. That's fine. Well, I, I came here knowing that there is, a, there is a possibility that it could be my child, which is completely fine. You know, I take care of my business, okay? So I, I don't have no problems, you know, if it is mine. But as far as me and Miss Prowl, unless we're talking about um, little Ethan, we have nothing else to talk about. Mr. Morton, she has submitted $950 worth of receipts. She's suing for $475, which is half of that amount. And you are legally obligated to Jesus. pay that to her. Because you are responsible for the care and upbringing of your child. Are we clear? That's very clear, Your Honor. So he got a baby and instantly lost four hundred seventy dollars just that fast. I heard kids start taking your money, but I didn't think it was instant. Damn, <laughs> he became a dad and instantly four hundred dollars broker. <laughs> they ain't waste no time. Just ran his pockets. You the dad? Give me that <laughs> instantly. Right? You can't go tit for tat, cause. One wrong and another wrong is Did this lady just say 
she realized you can't go wrong for wrong after you already slept with two different guys to get back at your boyfriend and had a baby. It's a little late for you to realize that you were doing something wrong. It's a little way too late. I'll be more than happy to you know, accept my responsibility as a father. You know, um, As far as me and Michelle, given the events and all the things that I've seen today in court, I can't be with her. Like, look, look at that. Like, look, two weeks apart, couple days apart. Like, really, you've been, you've been a busy woman.